What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to successfully join games in Phasmophobia if you're having issues joining them already. This could be anywhere from a general error when trying to join a lobby, or something as simple as the server version mismatch error. So first of all, go ahead and start up Phasmophobia if you haven't already. Simply go ahead and try to join the game. I'll be joining 1 through 6, and of course, I'll get the error game does not exist, or I'll get server version mismatch. Say that you're getting some kind of general error like this, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the numbers you got were correct from your friends. Then, the next thing to do is to make sure that the region is okay by going back and clicking EU, US, SA, or AS in the top right hand drop down. If you are in the correct region and you're using the correct code, simply click away from whatever region you're in and then click the drop down, go back to the same region, and try and punch in the code once again. If you're still getting some kind of an error, make sure to go back and then join a public lobby. Just find one that isn't 4 out of 4, click on it, wait until you join, then click leave. Then we'll be dropped back to here, play, make sure the region's correct, join a private game, punch in the code, and see if you can join. Let's say that at this point you're still unable to join. What do we do? Well, let's go ahead and switch region to a different place. Then we'll go join private game and we'll punch in the correct code. Now, of course, it won't work. We'll go back, change the region back to whatever you were in originally, and try the code once again. Simply by changing away, putting in the code, and changing back usually works for me. From here, if you're still getting issues, make sure that your internet connection is working properly, and close out of the game entirely. The rest of the things that we're going to try are inside of Steam over here. Locate Phasmophobia on the list. You'll either see Phasmophobia or Phasmophobia, followed by brackets, and inside of them will be a beta. That means that you're on the beta version if you see that text. Of course, you'll have to make sure that your friends are all using the same version, either the normal version or the beta. In order to change to or from the beta, simply right-click Phasmophobia, go to Properties, Betas in the top, and then make sure that you set to either None or Beta Unstable Build over here. Of course, with the new Halloween update, there's an old build option over here, but I'm not sure how long this will stay around. All three of these should work independently of each other and have different server lists. Make sure that you're all using the same exact version. If you're all on the normal version of Phasmophobia, then the first thing to do is right-click on the game, Properties, Local Files, and then click Verify Integrity of Game Files. The person having issues joining a lobby should do this. If it's just you and a friend failing to join each other, you should both verify game integrity. Of course, if two people are already in a lobby, it's most likely the third person or fourth person who can't connect who needs to verify their game files. Assuming that you have verified your game files and everything's correct, try and get them to remake a lobby. If remaking a lobby and getting a different code still doesn't help, the last thing we can do is try and move to the beta version if you're on the normal version, or everyone moves out of the beta version back to the normal version. Now, of course, there are some issues with one or the other, and usually switching in between them can fix said issue, like voice chat. So, every person you're looking to play with, including yourself, should switch to the beta version by heading across to here, choosing beta, and then close. Then, after the game updates, you should all be able to create a new lobby and join and play together. And of course, if you're all on the beta version already, try and get everyone to switch back to the normal version and see if you can join a lobby and play as usual. Changing in between betas and non-betas is really simple and only requires a really small update, so it's incredibly simple and easy to do. But with all of that aside, hopefully this video helped you. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!